So, we just got our camper winterized. I'll put a video up for that. But uh, while we are here, I talked to the wife and I said, let's go into the showroom and let's check out all of the models they have indoors. I cannot believe how massive their showroom is here at uh, Walnut Ridge. So I'm back in the very back corner. And what I thought we would do is I wanted to check out all of the campers they had in stock right now. Thought we could do it together. Hopefully not too shaky. I left my gimbal at home, so hopefully we do okay. So first, we're gonna check out this Puma here. Obviously, I'm a little Puma biased because I we have a Puma. I'm not a huge fan of this door that goes into directly into your bedroom. I'd prefer if it was like going into a bathroom or whatever, but you know, I guess each to their own. Typical nice big bathroom in the Puma, although it doesn't have the seat in it like ours does. Still, it's got a decent size in it. So we're looking at uh, 21,000. So you get a $9,000 discount. Some of the stuff this one has in it. I like this color though. Plenty of cabinet spaces, cabinet space, just like ours. I don't know if I like, so here I'm sitting on the couch here, and TV's in there, I guess that's not bad. Now if you're sitting in the recliners, so here we have a hideout. Um, my cousin Brandy and Troy, they have a hideout. This is the 32 BHTS, 8,600 pound sleeps, 10. Okay, check this one out. Oh, I like this layout. Ah, doesn't have the fireplace. I really do like the fireplace. Oh, okay, I see. So, oh, this is cute. A little bonk. Got some good storage space down here. Oh. I like the layout. I like the island. Sarah and I have talked that we want to get an island in ours next time. I think uh, that's a big thing for her. Let's check out the bedroom. Oh, yeah, you got plenty of room in here. It's the same size bed as ours. It just has the one slide out. I'm not sure what makes this one so much heavier, but uh, maybe it's the bunk beds. I guess I totally forgot to look at the MSRP on this one. This one has a sell price of 22. Here's some of the stuff you get with it. So that model, that model hideout that I was just looking at, um, has the outdoor kitchen. So that's under the bunk bed in uh, the back, which would definitely add some weight. We've talked about an outdoor kitchen. The only reason we didn't get it in our last one was we lost a lot of the cabinet space uh, underneath the kitchen um, because ours has the rear kitchen model. But, you know, we've talked about it. It'd be nice to wash hands, keep cold drinks, soda pop out here, make it easy to get to. Uh, you can even do some cooking out here if you want to keep the smell from inside the camper. Okay, so on to the next. Puma actually makes an XLE or a light. Um, this one is a 25 footer. So let's check it out. Okay. Nice couch like ours. Where's the TV? Maybe you mount the TV now. <laughs> All right, so this one's fifteen thousand. This one just feels a little small for us. Um, well, let's get a nice bathroom though. I like the little tub. I don't know that I can sit down in there, but hi guys. Um, it's cute. I guess you know. I referred to our cousins earlier. They, uh, it's just the two of them that typically travel and they have a small one and they really like it. Uh, I think sometimes they felt a little cooped up like if it was raining, but they, they liked it overall. 
All right, so let's keep going. Passport, ultralight, grand touring, 2810BH. So we're only at 5,000 pounds. That's really nice. So what I was talking about earlier, for me, if you have a back door, I actually like that it goes into your bathroom. Seems like every time we go camping, people are like, can we go in and use your bathroom? And then they have to traipse all the way through the camper. And I don't like that. Um, this is cute. So, get your bunks back here. Um, the buffet. What's this one coming in at? 23656. That's not bad. We have this in ours. Decent cabinet space above and below. So the only thing I personally don't like about this model, and it may not bother some people, if I'm sitting here, I can't just see the TV the way it is. No, it'll pull out. I know it pulls out. I'm not going to. But uh, I don't know. If you're sitting at the buffet over here, you're fine if you're sitting here. And, you know, personal preference, I just like when I'm sitting in the loungers that I can see the TV. In the bedroom, it's got the door that slides on both sides. Looks like it's pretty good space for being a, a light. I mean, that's not bad at all. Okay, so now I'm getting into some of the the big boys. Um, I think I've said it before in some of my videos, we love our Puma, but my next one is definitely gonna be a fifth one. I don't wanna go just, but, and this is this is probably out of, out of my price range and size range, but uh, check this bad boy out. So it's toy hauler and uh, has the railing so you can actually make this a livable space. Let's go check this out. Okay, actually, <laughs> 49,000 sale price. Wow, okay. So let's talk about some of the things I do know. That bed will actually go all the way up and it pulls both of the couches up as well. So you have space here for uh, dirt bikes, four wheelers, golf carts, whatever you wanna take. We have really nice big seating area here. All ceilings, lots of cabinet space. Um, not my favorite layout, but not bad at all. I, I like it. You're, you're going to have issues with the TV in that seat. I know a lot of you are going to be like, you're going camping. Why are you so concerned about the TV? But when we were in Gulf Shores and we lost two days to rain, you're kind of stuck inside to watch TV. You want to be as comfortable as possible when you're doing it. Uh, nice big sink, stainless steel. Plenty of cabinet space. Let's go up and check this out. Ooh, I like the walkthrough bathroom. Countertop is pretty in this. I like that. Nice big sit down shower. I like the sit down shower. We have that in ours. And oh wow. I mean you could you could live in this really. Uh plenty of room. I think Sarah and I could actually live in this one. All right, so let's go across here. Sarah is off doing her own thing, and she told me I have to check out this Outback Superlight 3333 FE. So let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. I like the living room set up already. I like the arch ceilings. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that gives you a lot of, I mean, we have plenty of room in ours, but wow. Okay. 39,863. Lots of cabinet space, typical three burner stove, refrigerator, standard, just like the one we have now. Ooh. I think they're doing some work down here. I like the closet though. Check out the bathroom. Oh yeah. 
not as much room, but they do the uh, domed skylight, which makes all the difference in the world when you're trying to uh, take a shower. Bedroom, nice size. You know what? I want to see what the weight is on this unit. I keep talking about fifth wheels, but I'm actually really liking the setup in this one. Let's see if we can find weight on here somewhere. I don't see it. All right, I'm going to have to get back to you guys on this one because I want to know the weight on this one. All right, let's go take a look at some more stuff. Ooh, little outdoor kitchen area. I'm liking this one more and more. So I really like that last Outback. Here's another Outback. This is the 266 RB. 66.80 for weight. Oh, wow. Big bathroom. Big bathroom here. Nice shower. No seat, but not the end of the world. I like the living room. I like that uh, just right here you get the fireplace. I like the nice big stereo. Just looks fancy. Got the same line ins and everything. Three burner stove. Nice little bedroom. This one's really cute. It's got the dome or the uh, arch ceiling as well. It's a nice feature. I like tech. I don't know what the tech does, but I like tech. Oh, here, let's just see. Oh, password. So you control your water heater. Your water pump, your interior lights, your exterior lights, and your security lights all from here. Check your fresh, your black, your gray. That's really cool. This is one more fancy thing that can go wrong, but still. Big fan of the Puma. This is the 28FQDB. I don't know what that means. Because ours is an RKTS, which is rear kitchen, two slides, front, quarter, Double bed, I don't know. Uh, 6,300 pounds, sleeps 10. It's got the outdoor kitchen area. It's got the bunks when you come in, like that. Ooh, big bathroom. You know what would make this bathroom even better? If they had a stool in the shower. I guess you could put one yourself in there, but, and I guess that's one that you could take a, a bath in. Yep, it's got the seating I like with uh, the TV right across. Some nice storage here. I would opt for the fireplace there. Uh, it's nice to not have to run your propane when it's just a little chilly out. Um, wow, look at the price on this, only 19.989. I can't talk today, people. 19.985. Not a bad little bedroom. Um, I like the clo I like having the closet in ours. I don't know if that's enough space to store all the crap, the drone, all the GoPro stuff, all of our clothes. Um, the big closet in our Puma come in handy for that. I don't know if you get that in this, but uh, it's not a bad little model. I definitely can't complain about the price point. I want to check out a couple more of the fifth wheels. And it looks like they got another hideout over here. So let's check this one out. I mean, you could, yeah, I mean, you can completely get in here. I like that, because what if you have something go wrong with one of your water lines or something? Pretty easy to get to. Got a cable hookup out here, so you could hook your TV mount right here, power. This one is the Cougar 311 RES. Okay, it's going up. Nice bathroom size again. I'm not sure how I feel about those doors. I mean, I guess they're nice because they they don't hit anything, but they're they're just strange to me right now. Oh, big bedroom. Okay, let's check out this closet. Big closet. I like that little counter in there. Nice TV. 
AC thermostat wire located here. Okay, well, that's important. But when we step down, we've got the kitchen in the middle, residential style refrigerator, lots of storage space, no overhead storage, but lots of storage space there. Big sink, stainless. Love the long fireplace. Love it. I also like the lighting and stuff in this one. I'd love to know how much one of these weighs. I haven't been able to find that. If I can find it, I'll put it online. Yeah, I like this one. So we have a Cougar by Keystone. Are we in a Cougar right now? Yeah. Uh, we've got another Cougar right here. Let's check it out. And then we'll check a hideout, and then I have a feeling my battery will be dead. We're definitely going to have to come back. They said they rotate the inventory out on a pretty consistent basis in here. So being it's winter time, this is going to be fun content for you guys to watch and something cool for me to do. It's comfortable in here, so I think we might be having to make plenty of trips over here. This is the 337 FLS. Hmm, this is cool. So it's actually like a step up living room still got lots of headspace even when I walk close to the TV like looking down over the kitchen refrigerator's interesting huh. typical three burner pantry nice size pantry I'm guessing this is some kind of portable remote that comes with these. Huge bathroom. Huge. Nice ice shower. Door that opens up into the bedroom. Bedroom's a good size. Not as big as the other model that we were just in, but it's a it's a nice size. It's got a very it's got a very homey feel to it. Lots of closet space on both sides. I like this one. I think I like the other model a little bit better, but this one definitely has a very homey feel to it. It's definitely got a larger price tag associated to it, but 